and welcome to day three of my yoga week. So let's just start off by taking our shoulders back and down, chin parallel with the floor, imagine the thread pulling you up through the crown, sitting in easy pose or cross legs, up to you, you can even sit in lotus if you want a half lotus, like I'm doing. And take a deep breath in and out, in fact, a lot of deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Out through the mouth if you like, just breathing out all the stresses of the day. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep going. If you want to incorporate the arms, you can take the thumbs up, see them up to the thumbs, connect. Exhale, look down. Inhale, up to see the other side. Full deep yogic breaths. out the legs out front and we're just going to do a nice forward fold just to begin with stretching arms up falling over the legs pulling gently on your big toes just falling gently over the hamstrings feeling a pull on the lower back rounding down just stretching up as you inhale flat back extend and out through the top of the head and then fold gently exhale Repeat that a couple of times, inhale, exhale, rounding down on your exhale, pulling away but keeping hold of the big toes, inhale, stretch, exhale, fold, inhale, stretch, exhale, and then rolling back up to Dandasana staff pose, rolling the shoulders. Bring your left foot in, extending the right leg, press the knee of that left leg right down, finding the sitting bones, just take a little reach up as you inhale, and then forward fold over that front leg. Try and gently pull wherever you get to, don't worry if it's just hardly any movement at all, just gently pulls wherever you are at. If you can reach for the feet, just fall slowly forwards over this straight leg, Bring that through the upper back, lower back, the hips, hamstring. Relaxing the shoulders, no tension in the shoulders. Okay, just pulling up. Just place the hand, left hand down by the hip, pop up onto the knee and the foot, and swing big circles through with your arm. Opening up the shoulder, the chest, sweeping circles. Okay, change direction. Breathe all the time. Okay, brilliant. I'm just going to take the leg, right leg out wide a little bit more. Keep the foot in towards the thigh. And just slide down towards the heel with the right hand. Reach up. Reach up with the left arm and then just move a little bit, just, just free move, no forcing or anything. And see if you can flow down to meet the bit, foot a bit more or a reach. Just dangle the arm over by the ears, make sure you're in control, there's no collapsing. Try to spin or rotate the chest up to the ceiling, gazing up and breathe here in this position. So just don't force it, but if you can touch the feet and pull yourself through the hoop, the loop that you create, that's great, but don't force anything, it's whatever feels right. Just gazing up, nice deep breath in as you bend. Lovely, lift back all the way up, and we just extend the other leg out. So left leg straight, right leg comes in to the thigh, and push that right knee down. So coming up, inhaling, reach and fall forwards over this straight leg that's out front. Gently pressing your feet, bless and breathe. Just relaxing their rotation. Relaxing. Just feel free to move about a bit. Just 
something's straight. Okay, transition to the floor, lying on your back with knees into the chest and head touching the ground, lower back touching the ground and then just reach up, meet the knees with your nose and back down. So squeeze, exhale and inhale, bringing the feet down. So just squeeze in, exhale, inhale, back down. Just keep going with that, just warming up your core the abdomen. And then just move the knees separately in small circles, crossing the big toes, change direction. Then bring the knees together and make some circles as well with the knees, change direction. Keep hold of the left knee, pulling out to the side to avoid the rib cage down towards the armpit. Right leg releases to the floor. Deep breaths here, just pulling the knee in towards the chest. And then just straighten that leg and point and flex the foot. Maybe some circles with the foot. And just walk your hands up the leg and gently pull, keeping your head on the floor. Slightly out to the side, opening through the hip and a bend of the knees. Just play about with it. Okay, straighten now and pull down. Bring your head up to meet the shin, even if it's just for a second. Just work within what your limitations are. And bringing the right knee now, just pulling, hugging it in quite tightly towards your chest, out to the side. And the left leg's down. Breathing deeply before stretching up into the air vertical leg, point and flex the foot, do some circles, before bringing that leg down towards you, keeping your head down at first, slightly out to the side, just getting a hip opening stretch, and eventually just reach up your head to meet the shin, if you can, and play around with it, bend, flex, straighten, just see what you have in your locker today. Okay, bringing both legs up, just swing into a little plow. Have a little play with what your abilities are today because every day is different. So you might like to keep your hands down by your side. And just push up into plow pose. So try and keep the legs straight. It's a lovely stretch for the upper back, lower back. You can support your back if you wanted to, climbing the back, to support the lower back with your hands and you can touch the ground with your toes if you want to. Lovely for the lower back and hamstrings. Just be careful of the neck, no sudden movements with the head. Just keep nice and steady and then have a little go with a shoulder stand. If it's possible to you, just test out your core strength. Try and get as vertical as you can, squeezing the glutes 
and then rolling gently down and sitting up. Just move down to your, the floor on your belly. Sphinx, pressing your forearms out in front, pressing the hip bones down to the ground, gazing ahead. Then you might like to bring your right forearm in front, square to the mat, left foot flips up, take hold with the left hand, fingers pointing in the same direction, elbow high, nice little back bend and quad stretch, rising high onto the hand if you want to. Take it to the next level. Let's try the other side. Flip up the right foot and the right hand takes hold of it. I'm pressing up with the left forearm. Rising high if you want to get that extra stretch. But just take it steady. Okay, down to the ground now and lift up the bottom section of your legs. Squeezing the glutes. Just keeping the forehead down. Just separating different elements here. And now the top part of your body lifts high like a superman. And we're going to do the full Salambasana now, lifting arms and legs off. So stretch and breathe as you do. Never stop. Rest now. Breathing deeply again. And just push yourself back up onto all fours and move through the cat-cow motions, looking up as you dip rounding through the spine as you exhale so inhaling and exhaling inhale dip looking up exhale rounding just go at your own pace tucking your toes under come into the downward dog stretching out the back tailbone high palms fingers aligned Right leg lifts now up into the air, stack the hips, bending that heel down towards the bum, bend the knee and hold as you breathe. Swing that right leg through in between the hands, dropping down to the knee on the left and reach hands to knee into a nice low lunge. Stay there or you can take your hands up and do a little back bend, squeezing through the lower back and glutes opening up the chest. Okay, hands return to the ground, kick up and back into the down dog. Breathe there. When you're ready, the other leg lifts, left leg high, heel to bum, swing that hip open, pause. And then when you're ready, swing through in between the hands with the left foot, drop to the knee, hands come to the knee, Gazing forwards or up, release the hands and breathe in this nice low lunge. Take it back, open it across the chest. Return the hands to the ground, tuck the toe under, back to down dog. Deep breaths. Taking the right leg high again, stacking the hips, heel comes in, swinging that hip open and then between the hands. This time we don't bend the leg, stay a nice high lunge on the ball of the foot. You might like to bend that left leg and then straighten, nice and high. Bending back as much as you feel comfortable with. Come down to the ground again, stepping back into dog and the same thing now on the other side, left lifts. Hook the heel round to the bum, swing open that hip, and then return to the ground in between the hands and straighten that back leg, high lunge. You can bend the knee a little bit and then re-straighten. So you're on the ball of the back foot. Open through the chest, nice deep breaths and return the hands to the ground. Stepping back into down dog, release back down to the knees and chest and chin lowers, eight limb salute, tailbone high. Just come now into child's pose, arms by your side, rounding through the back, weight over the heels, forehead on the floor, breathing through the back of your body. Okay, coming now to all fours again, kicking up into your down dog from there. 
the right leg high into the sky and straight in between the hands. Just bend the knee, the left knee comes to the ground, right arm opens outwards, so you get a nice easy twist. Fantastic, return that hand to the ground, just keep the leg the same, the right hand to the ground, the left arm lifts. Nice straight line with the arms. And return to the ground. And take hold of your foot with your right hand if you can. So pushing forwards with the hips. Take time to return to your runner's lunge position and then the downward dog. Other side, left side, high to the sky. Slowly kick in between the hands and down to the ground with that right knee. We spin out, left arm high, right hand on the ground. Just stays where it is, opening outwards and then the opposite side. So on the inside of the foot, spin open the right side. Nice little twist. And then take hold of the foot with your left hand gazing up. Deep breaths. Okay, return back down to the ground. Downward dog. Okay, take your right leg through in between the hands now, left leg's back. Opening out nice and straight with this right arm, left hand down. So you're not bending the knee this time. You can flip onto the edges of your feet here, just to get a nice hip stretch. Keep lifting through the hips as you stretch upwards, lifting everything upwards and return hand to the ground. So you're on the ball of the foot, then get your hand on the inside of this right leg and open outwards with the left arm. Side stretch and return to the ground. Back to down dog. Pressing the heels to the ground, tailbone high, chest to the thighs, left leg lifts up into the air and stepping straight through in between the hands, opening outwards, left arm first, onto the edges of your feet if you want to at this point, bending all the way and twisting round, return the hand to the ground without letting the knee down, pressing through the hips, opening out the right way, left hand down side stretch. Return the hands to the ground and return to dog, downward dog. Pedal out the legs if you want to. I'm just going to come forwards into plank pose. Strong arms sucking up the energy from the floor all the way up to the center line. Try and flatten the back, hip bones forwards, heels pressing back and downward dog. Breathing there. Okay, yarn the right leg back in space, stack the hips, heel comes to bum, thread that leg then through in between the hands, ground the heel down on the left, come up into triangle pose. Straight legs, right hand touches the shin, and be a straight line. Try and bump the hips out to the left and breathe. So you're looking up to the fingers and we're going to rotate it now. Right hand down, left hand up. Try and straighten the back. Lovely and level. Coming straight back up now. Bending that front leg. Return the hands to the ground. Step back into dog. Left leg high. Yarn it back. Heel to bum. Spin the knee out. Back in between the hands. Straight upwards, gently into straight-legged triangle pose, trikonasana, arms are straight, bumping the hips to the right, looking up to the hand in the air. Reverse it, so you bring that right hand down slowly to the floor, and the left arm high. Breathing here in this position, nice straight legs, straight back, thinking of the lines. Turning that hand to the ground, slowly rolling up. Bend the leg and hands meet the floor. Stepping back, downward dog. Coming forwards now onto the knees and push back into child's pose. You can go up onto the fingertips to stretch out the shoulders or do 
The shark's fin, child's pose, digging the elbows down, stretching out the triceps. Take a breath. And come slowly back up. Few moments of breath of fire here. Deep breath in and pump the breath. So the belly comes in as you breathe out. So really go for it. Keep going. Keep going. Really pumping the diaphragm. So cleansing. Keep going and breathe. Inhale, nice deep breath in. Okay, come up to the knees and then extend the right leg out and bend all the way over towards that right leg, relaxing the shoulders. And then return the left hand to the ground as you spin out the other way, stretching out the whole rib cage like a fan and extend backwards into a sort of wild thing-esque pose. Just make sure you have control. Opening up the chest and then back up and try the other side. Left leg extends outwards, leaning over towards that left foot. Soften the shoulders and then hand down, plant it firmly, root it down, stretch over and then open outwards, pushing the hips forwards and squeezing the glutes. Returning back to the floor. Thank you for watching everybody. Namaste.